Hello, Rodium here, and welcome to RimWorld, a game that I've been wanting to play through with you guys for quite a long time now. I've just kind of been waiting for there to be more content. I've been playing it on and off every couple of months, every time there's a major update, and I think it's finally gotten to a point where there's a, enough to do for a playthrough. Also, I was going to wait for the next update before I did. Uh, before I started this, but uh, it seems the developer is the one developer, mind you. All the best games are made by like a single guy. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be gone for six months, I believe, from what they were saying on the web website. So because of that, I'm going to start the playthrough now. Now, there's a, fair, a, a few things that you should know as well. If you don't, if you're not sure what this game is, it's bait. Well. It says right there, a colony simulator by the one guy who made it, Titan Sylvester. God, I screwed that up. But anyway, yeah. I guess it's probably just easy to explain once I get into the game. Just a colony simulator sandbox. You've probably seen it before. If you haven't, then you're in for a treat. It's an awesome game. One of my favourite games. I've been looking forward to it for a while. But, um... Yeah, let's start off a new colony. I'm going to start on the normal difficulty, rough. Uh, right, I already made a world when I've been playing around with this. So I'm just going to use the already generated world, otherwise it'd take forever. Now, I'm not exactly sure whether I want to pick where I'm starting or not. Last time I think I started somewhere over here. I like it where it's all cold, because it makes it a bit harder. The game is... Sometimes it can be... It's either really easy or really hard. It'll just throw a curveball at you, and you'll all of a sudden... You have a guy that's doing really well, and all of a sudden... Uh, someone will sh shoot him through the uh, through the bloody head in the middle of a fight and you'll lose your best character out of nowhere. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll select random and as long as it's not an ice sheet like it isn't now, we've got a Tepran forest. Where are we? That looks good. Negative 12 winter. Average temperature for July. Yeah, that's excellent. I think we'll go for this one. Um, I still don't know where it is, but whatever. So I'm going to go advanced here and just make the map size up a bit larger. I may have skipped some of this because it's pretty terrible. Now usually what I do instead of the auto, I usually start like right at the edge of winter. So it gives you that little bit of extra time to set up. So what we want to do is... When that warning disappears, I also will we'll start in March. There's the growing season in yeah, March. I think we want to actually start in April. It says growing period is May, so we'll have the whole first month to set up. Right. I think that'll do here. Um, also, I should have mentioned this at the start of the video. God damn it. Um, like with Xenonauts, I'm going to be, well, as long as I get some of you guys commenting on the videos, I will be naming some of the colonists after you guys. So if you want to, just comment in the one in the video below the sort of what sort of name you want. It doesn't have to be your name exactly, just anything. I'll try and give them the sort of position that you want, if the skills allow it. I've actually got a pretty decent setup here. This guy's a bit of a fighter. I might not even want to even fiddle around with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm keeping this guy. Not the best skills in the world. He has a lot of passions, which means he'll learn them quicker. But each one of these little flame icons is a passion, so he'll learn those quicker. He's a decent shooter too. Excellent. So he's cold tolerant, which is excellent. Optimist, industrious. Two people who are cold tolerant. It's excellent. Space fanboy. I've never actually seen that one before. It gives you like a little bit of like basic backstory on them and everything. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this started. Yeah, hey, I'm hoping you guys do comment on the videos for this because I do enjoy having you guys in there. It makes it just that little bit more interesting for me and for you guys as well, I'm sure. Even if on Xenonauts and probably on this game, probably end up you'll probably end up dying if your character ends up showing up in here. Oh, this map looks interesting. Okay, so that's embarrassing as hell. Apparently I've been talking to myself for the past four minutes, um, and the recording 
just wasn't recording. But basically, you didn't miss out on much. As you can see, we've just started doing a bit of a construction here. I decided on this area here because it's defended. All You have all this marsh on all the sides here. Got some geothermal vents up here and down there as well, so that's a lot of power for us. Also got a building here that was already here. We've just dropped down some sleeping points, or I was about to before I realised the recording wasn't there. I, as I was just saying, uh, I think this will probably turn into a kitchen or a freezer room, and this will probably be the dining area. I'll probably expand it later, but for now, it's okay. Um, in terms of permissions and workloads, we've got two people who are currently... I'm going to fiddle around with this more. I'm going to pause it when I do that. But currently, we've got two people that are set to doing hauling, but if there's construction, to do that first. And you should... You can't actually do hauling. Okay, that's kind of useless. Well, at least do some cleaning then. <laughs> right, so this person isn't actually going to be much help. I should have looked at that. They could do plant cutting at least, so I'll give them some stuff to do then. It's more wood. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah, other than that, you guys did not miss out on much. Um, hopefully you guys will actually comment on the video, and I, I like having you guys... Like having your avatars in the game per se. It makes it a lot in more interesting for me to record and for you guys to watch, I guess. So yeah, we're very well defended on all sides really, except for up here. We can build our own defences. So we've got a makeshift stockpile. It's with this. It's always working. I'm gonna have to use the keys. But yeah, we've got this stop makeshift stockpile here that they're going to be using. For now, everyone's sleeping outside, but that's okay because for the first few old gunshots, okay. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you are new to RimWorld, they have a full like health system here. Like you can see all their different stats here, and they every single body part can be damaged. If I had the debug console still open, then you would have like every single body part there, even up to fingers. They can get fingers blown off, and it's a bit different for each animal as well. Like a uh, is there any health problems with our warg here? No. See, you start off with one pet, always, from what I understand. Now, while we're waiting for someone to build that door, I am going to set up. It is coming into summer. So perhaps I'll build set up solar generator. I'm going to build the power up here for the moment, just to give me some room to expand. And I think wind generators will be a pain in the ass right now, because there's so much, uh, so many trees. Every single object that's in the way of a wind generator will slow it down, so it won't generate as much. So let's get at least one generator here. Get a basic little battery building here. I'm not going to make anything pretty right now. This is all temporary, I can fix everything later on. So you need power conduits to deliver power around, of course. So that's what we'll be doing there. I'm only gonna have one battery for the moment, because we don't have all that much metal, and it would help if I had a door in this place. Otherwise this guy's gonna end up being trapped. Oh, okay. That's gonna bother me, sorry. <laughs> It might not have to look pretty, but if there's one thing that bothers me, it's symmetry. I honestly do not mind if you guys point out that I've made something, some stupid mistake. It's alright. Alright, let's get this guy. I'm just going to have this guy constantly cutting wood because that's the only thing he can do. So he may as well be making himself useful. Now, who is our best builder? You're not that much better though, are you, Robin? What do I look like? Eight. Actually, we will be getting Amelia and NG to build any of our furniture because it, give, it gives them a higher chance of uh, being higher quality. And of course, higher quality furniture gives more benefits. Now, first off, we also need a joy item. That here, I think. So 
so something that I didn't even consider is food. I made this area a little bit too big. Click on the thing. We will have some sort of warehouse at some point. I don't know where. Thinking we're having the f we'll have the farm. Where are we gonna have the farm? We're gonna have to have the farm somewhere around here because this is gonna gonna be where all of our buildings are more or less. I think. We're gonna have to have all. Yeah, I need to think of you know, planning a bit more. I think the farm is gonna have to be up here actually, and we're gonna have to get rid of this wall because we can't expand this way at all. This is gonna be all buildings and a wall around the place and defenses, of course. I think this is going to be like our main entrance or something. That's why I see it, because then I have to trudge through the marsh to get in. That slows them down, gives our turrets and our guys more chance to shoot them. So let's just do a basic plan here. Just so I don't forget the future, because I don't know how long I'm going to be recording this for. Just kind of give you a rough idea what I'm thinking. I don't think we'll have an entrance here, this will all be blocked off. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. Obviously not to that scale, but that's exactly what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I think we'll have the farms around this area. It's big enough, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be. Right, well, let's get this demolished and we'll get as much of an area done as we can. I don't even know why that planning, I use that planning. It's not even that useful. I think we'll just do your usual potatoes up here for the moment. The thing is with this game, you really don't want to be doing too much at once because then it slows everyone down. We'll put, plant some corn as well because corn takes ages to grow so you want to get it planted right away. But it also gives you a lot of food. And if we can, we also want to. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, yes. What are we going to put here? We need Zeria Gym, which is used for medicine. But I also need to... go silent, just ignore that, because that's going to happen when I'm thinking and concentrating. But yeah, there you go. And we have two areas here. And this will be, what else is the smaller spot? Hops. Yes, hop must might come in useful. I don't really need anything else as of right now. Cotton, actually, yes. Definitely need cotton. Need to unfamid all this stuff. I think that's all we'll worry about for now. I'll let them get to that. I actually need to finish this power conduit here. Yeah, it's still snowing right now. Like I said, all this is temporary. I'm gonna fix a lot of this stuff later on. Definitely don't want a steel bed, that's a huge waste of resources. was the guy that was good at building. It was probably NG, wasn't it? Yep, it's NG. Right, well I'll let you start working on these beds then. That cold is outside. 4 degrees Celsius and it's snowing. Come, right? <laughs> We're just going to leave it fast forward and let them do their stuff. We should get our first bad guy showing up soon. How many days has it been? Only two days, okay, nah. 
I didn't actually know it told you how many days have passed since we arrived. Excellent. I gotta say, this is a, a lot smoother of a start than every other time I play this game. It usually starts in a terrible position. It takes me ages to move all my stuff because I have to move over the other side of the bloody map. It should be pretty exciting, except for when I zoom out. I am, it is at a constant 30 FPS for you guys as well, which is excellent. So, I am able to run this on 1080 HP as well, which is not the case for any other game that I record, because my computer is terrible. I'm getting a new graphics card soon enough that should be able to fix those issues, which is good, because I've been so sick of running all these games on like terrible settings and everything. And it'd make it a lot more enjoyable for you guys as well. What's going on right now? It's still eating up here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What we will do... So we've got a lot of wood now, don't we? So... We need to start thinking about actual planning out stuff. to construct this. And... Alright, I'm gonna pause it here, just while I decide what the hell I'm gonna do. I might even do a time lapse, who knows. I'll decide later. Alright, finally I've decided on a design that I'm going to go for. I suppose this is, will be the sort of residential block. You can see here, they're not the exact same size, these rooms, but it's as close to symmetrical as it's going to get. The way I'm reasoning in it is uh, I'm going to pick favourites. I do that right now, I'm going to say that. I pick favourites, so they're going to have the larger rooms. That makes them more happy. Then we've got these, uh, so we've got four rooms. We've got enough for three colonists plus one, which usually shows up. We've also got this area here. This wall is going. This whole area is going to be the bar kind of area. This wall here, I'm kind of undecided. I think, I think that's going to stay. I don't know why it's set to deconstruct. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to leave it here right now. But yeah, this is going to be the... Uh, kitchen, I suppose, and brewery. I might even have the cooker stove here or something to make kind of look at, make like a, make it look like a bar or a tavern or something and have some tables and everything in here. But other than that, I'm going to leave it there right now. Not, for, not the episode, mind you, but 
designing. What my past self actually doesn't know is that it is the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode of RimWorld. I'll see you guys in the next one. Vote him out.